All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back. Let's go uh, level ourselves up and probably steal some keys. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do long guns. Let's move. I'll keep it down. Hello there. Hey, 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 stand back. You. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail. And that means you got to keep five feet back at all times. I try to keep a six feet policy at all times, but you know, I'm I'm close right now, so shut up. Are you supposed to drink on the job? Don't, uh, didn't know you were such a big shot. Calm down, just looking for the bathroom. Of course not, <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Okay. Uh, so important about guarding Mr. Clark. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on-the-job bathroom breaks. Excuse me? That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Shh, I sure have! Cause ah. today's my big day! He's got powerful good ears, too. Yeah. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. We are friends. Wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Maybe. Here you go, buddy. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow! You got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, God, Kanye, oh, no. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. How about another? I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. But... Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? Breakfast. I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Run to the bathroom there, buddy. It's okay. I just need to sit down. <laughs> ah! Come here, girls. Come on. Come here. Come on. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Get in the room, Bravati. Alright. Good to go. I think it's this way that I need to go. Yes. I've always loved that sculpture. I mean, maybe I can just go out the back then. I think I figured out what you need. Besides the smoke and some privacy, our crew's like a machine. All the parts got to work together, or we'll shake ourselves to pieces. I've never been good with metaphors, Parvati. Hmm. We need each other to work right. You need a team, and I need someone who will be truthful with me. Even when it hurts. The only thing I need is people staying the hell out of my business. So how would I get that? If that there? were true, you wouldn't be here. You're acting real funny. You drop a wrench on your head or something? Can I squeeze through? I cannot. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Sorry, buddy. The hell is that? Oh, that's a bottle. What if I just, uh... Take your best shot, Oh, God. Oh, no. No, no. Okay, that, that's what I thought. Hold on. Jesus Christ. Load. Um. Let's try that. Okay, so what just really sucks is that I do not have a disguise. I think I figured out what you need. Besides the smoke and some privacy, our crew's like a machine. All the parts got to work together or we'll shake ourselves to pieces. I've never been good with metaphors, Parvati. We need each other to work right. You need a team, and I need someone who'll be truthful with me. Even when it hurts. The only thing I need is people staying the hell out of my business. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Minister Clark's a private man. And you All right, let's go get that package. Just call me Amazon. <laughs> nice and easy. Just got our ticket in. Now we can go actually get in and hopefully speak to him. Without any violence, of course. Alright, let's see. Were there actually stairs or did I? There, there were not stairs. Oh, there were. They were just on the other side. Ellie, we gotta talk. Uh oh. My second least favorite set of four words. Here we go. You gotta stop treating me with kid gloves. 
I'm not gonna fall to pieces if you look at me sideways, and I'm not going away. It's fine if you don't like me, but we gotta find a way to work together. That's right. The crew. Never heard you sound this forceful. It's kind of refreshing. All right, no conflicts, girls. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Chasing us off already? This feels familiar. Ma'am, please don't cause a scene. I want you to know I'm holding back for your sake. <laughs> Do you have any actual business here? Or... I'm a courier. Yeah? Let's see it. Hm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. In we go, finally. Let's see if we can get out of him. Hopefully he's not dead in a corner somewhere. <laughs> It'd be just like this game. Please, for the love of God, do not open that door while I'm... Okay. We're good to go. Nothing in there. But these are free to take. I'm so glad I don't get stuck on companions, because that would be excruciating. Alright, he is over there. Get in here quickly. Okay. On my way. How did you get in here? Shh. Got your package. You, you're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain, Captain, that's the minister, Mr. Clark. Oh, wow. Relax. So this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off as the <laughs> parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. None about that. Um. What are you talking about? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius. That's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. And I clearly don't know who Charles is. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. No. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? <clears throat> Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. It is a I chemical. Don't know if the chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. Will that be all, then? By God, I have rec records proving you've been uh, hoarding the, uh, however the hell you say that. 
They're not drugs or chemicals. You. Let's see. Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Oh my god. Unless... Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would... would you like me to make you tea? Please! This is important! Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Uh, then I'll... have to deal with him? You expect me to believe this? Why are you going through all this trouble? Or why would he be going through all this trouble? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. Okay. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. No, this is not a comic book or a serial or whatever. Uh, just tell me how to get in. You seem a little too excited about all this. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress. The possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. Understandable. Uh, let's focus on how do I get in there. At any rate, I'm <laughs> glad to see one else was on my side. I dearly hope I'm not imagining this. Now, we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis District, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. A uh, few guards don't scare me. Tunnel sounds good. I prefer the quiet approach. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Uh, what used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. Ah! The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. In your ass? I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. I guess so. We done here because I've got things to do. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. All right, what's on the cartridge? Why are you trusting me to help you? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. 
Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Well, it's something, but if it works, it'll be worth it. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Right. So in other words, me and Phineas are going to do what we can, can, and this will be the definite, not back, yeah, backup that we need. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there. That's one right. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. Uh, mind if I take a breath? Pretty tired after hauling around all these bits. You could have asked me, you know. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. Thanks, buddy. Two grand wasn't a lot. I think I have quite a bit, so it, you know. Captain, I stand out here like a big, greasy thumb. Hello, Beatrice. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. I hate you already. I'm sorry, you're just doing your job. But that was disgusting. You must think you're pretty tough. I bet I could take you. Alright, save. State your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Hold on. It's procedure. Now, well, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? You don't have to be sarcastic about it. Ah. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms, and I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm gonna save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Thank you. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Cool. All right, everybody, up we go. You too excited. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant Stationery, which is more of a hobby. Right, any chance? Exciting! The art of arranging stationery is a never-ending source of joy and satisfaction. Will there be anything else? Personal assist- Oh, no. Ah! Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. 
Will there be anything else? Okay. Goodbye. Sealed door. Let's just... Can't even access that. I can take a hint. Here's hoping can't get through there. All right, let me let me save one more time. Excuse me, just a moment. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. Go sit back down. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. <laughs> God damn. Alright. Come in, girls. Sure. Be right there. Well, that stained glass is nice. I hate how churches get a monopoly on stained glass because it's stained glass is really nice, but one person gets all this space Ooh. just to, to sign papers all day. But yeah, stained glass is really nice, and it shouldn't be you know monopolized by one specific organization. Or one specific type of organization. Alright, behind this desk we go. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell. And I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! <laughs> While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Okay. Please allow for three to uh, uh, between three and nine months for your message to complete transit. Okay. All right. Well, I think it's time we got out of here. I don't know 
where that is. Everybody, I thank you for the business. It's time to leave. All right, we did it. There we go. I was starting to think the game froze on the loading screen. Oh, it's th this way, actually. Um. This is quite nice, but I believe we shall explore it when I return. So I thank so much for watching, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. Um, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.